Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a blast from the past and take a look at the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2nd Edition Player's Manual. I decided I'd buy it on eBay just because I sold my copy 10-12 years ago and thought it'd be fun to look through it, show off some of the art, and just see what the game was all about. So here it is. I gotta say, I love the cover art. It's a newly revised, expanded, and updated version of AD&D. Well, <laughs> not totally up to date anymore, considering this was published in 1989. We've got a cover. I'm going to say before I really look in the book, I'm a little disappointed with the quality. The eBay listing made it look a little bit better than it was. I probably would have paid a little more for a nicer version, but this is what I got. Not really going to go over the rules or anything like that. I'm just kind of wanted to show some of the show off some of the art and flip through it a little bit. If you've played other editions, leave a comment and let me know what your favorite is though. I'm going to say the only ones I played were the basic D&D &D and a little bit of a D&D &D second edition. I never got into third or anything beyond that. Just didn't have a big group to play with in high school and by the time I got to college we were playing Magic the Gathering instead and moved on to board games like Talisman. But we've got a lot of neat stuff here. Lots and lots of charts. There's some classes. We've got Paladins. Let's kind of just flip through and see anything that catches the eye. The Illusionist. Lots and lots of great pencil art and also some colorful art. So this one just has what the players need, you know, your level up charts, your um, character races and classes. Talks about alignment. I wonder how many of these rules are still intact. I haven't even looked at the latest editions. I do like the art on some of these. Uh, there was one, I missed one of them. Yeah, this one, this entry. I love how they're cooking a dragon there and eating it. And I don't know why Wolfman Jack is with them, but that is a great picture. Just really sums up second edition to me. I just think a kind of little dark fantasy with a little bit of silliness. Like check out that dwarf. Let's see what else we have. Proficiencies. We never really got into proficiencies too much. And secondary skills. Like I said, I'm going to just kind of flip through this. I'm not really... I love that art. I'm not really going to bore you like trying to talk about how the game works and stuff. Because if you know the game, then you don't need to hear me talk about that but I love the equipment list these are the type of these old D&D books I could just like sit there and stare at them for days I just loved looking at the charts and just the details so amazing I ordered this I ordered the dungeon master guide and I ordered the monster manual for second edition maybe someday I'll talk my friends into letting me set up a campaign <laughs> look at that a tail and some kind of genie guy. I loved what I liked most about second edition was that while it did get rid of some oh look at that. While it did get rid of some of the, the demons and devils of first edition to kind of cater to the D D bad crowd, it did keep a lot of the darkness that I feel like newer editions under Hasbro have kind of let go of once it went a little more mainstream. I just love the the mystery. Do you remember like think about oh so when I was a kid you could go into malls and there were like bookstores and toy stores and things like that. <laughs> now you wouldn't really find game stores like that anymore but you find these mysterious role-playing game books with this crazy art and be like what is this all these charts and then you'd hear about just all the bad press D&D &D got back then and I noticed these are priests I swear they're always called clerics but it looks like it's wizards and priests so is cleric just a class of priest I thought priest was a class of cleric 
Well, nonetheless, we've got a million spells. The whole second half of the book is spells. The wizards were so powerful. Flip through. I don't think there's any more art, really. I think it's all spells now. What's an awesome seventh level spell? Limited Wish. Haven't played this in decades. Haven't looked through one of these in decades. It's so much fun to look at. But that's about it. Lots and lots of spells at the end. Um, skip over that. And what do we have here? One more page of art. We have, we have a very sad halfling. Hmm. Maybe you watched the Lord of the Rings Amazon series. What do we have here? I don't know what I'm looking at there. That might be it for the final art. What do you like more, the pencil or the full color? I think I prefer the full color art. But that's it, and then we have a table of contents. You know, so this is really what every player needed to play. Didn't have any DM rules because that comes in the Dungeon Master Guide. But it does cover everything you have for setting up your player and your items and your spells and getting started. It's just, I love the nostalgia of it. I love the look of it. I'm happy I bought it. I just, like I said, I wish it would have been in a little bit better condition, but I'll be back uh, in my next video with a look at the Dungeon Master's Guide. So until then, if you'd like to support the channel, you can visit tabletopjason.com for links to some of the games I own. And if you'd like to see the card game I designed, check out 52dragons.com where you can view some sample cards or sign for Patreon to receive new and exclusive cards each and every month. But I'll be back soon with the Dungeon Master's Guide. So until then, have a great day and thanks for watching.